Hi, I'm Tristan, the Academic Lead for the Medicines Australia Continuing Education Program, delivered here at the University of Tasmania. The CEP has been running for many decades in a few different formats. We've been delivering it from the University of Tasmania for the last 10 years. It's a fully online program. We have approximately 900 students per year come through uh, from all across Australia and occasionally from elsewhere in the world for people in other countries that are interacting with the Australian healthcare industry. The CEP program provides um, med medical representatives and representatives from pharmaceutical companies with the information they need in order to provide ethical, balanced and accurate information to healthcare professionals. Uh, obviously these are very important front-facing scientific experts who are talking to healthcare professionals about their products and it's really critical that they understand the importance of that information being balanced, accurate, scientifically and evidence-based. Completely applicable to what we do every day. There is nothing in the course that was really left of field and felt like it a ticking a box. It was actually all extremely applicable to the role that we do every day and being able to go through it slowly, your own pace, and really absorbing all, all the information in your own time. That was really beneficial for me and I think really important for your professional development. We've been partnering with the University of Tasmania for a while now and they have really evolved to ensure that the program is keeping pace with modern technology and making sure that we can deliver a, a program to people that they can access anywhere and achieve in their normal busy day-to-day -day lives. It takes two years uh, part-time to complete the course so it's not something that you've, you've, you've done just over a short period of time, it's a prolonged sort of uh, success over, the, over all the modules um, so it feels great. It's, it's, Excellent. Um, I'm very proud. Family's proud of me. My wife's proud of me. So, uh, and internally, I'm, I'm, I know my my company is also very happy with what I've achieved. So. I hadn't worked in Australia in the pharmaceutical industry before I started with AZ in 2020, and I'd also taken a 12 year break from the industry. Um, so it was really good for me to just, you know, refresh my knowledge of the industry and also just to get to know the the code here in Australia, the ways of working. Um, and it really did just, you know, solidify all the knowledge I already had. Typically, we see medical representatives, medical science liaisons, particularly for the full CEP. But in recent years, we've seen quite a broad range of different roles undertake the program. So part of the, part of the program is the Medicines Australia Code of Conduct, which is required training for anybody that is involved in promoting or providing education on prescription medicines in Australia. But more than that, we often have seen companies pushing as many people as possible to get enrolled so that everyone in their company is up to speed on the industry's code of conduct and the ethics of the program. Um, since the latest CEP and code of conduct revision in 2020, we've seen a great contrast of different roles enrolling at the same time. So we'll see managing directors from companies enrolling alongside fresh uni graduates who are completely new to the industry, which, which for me personally, marking their assignments and their reflections, it's, it's quite rewarding to see, quite interesting to see that contrast when you have the newcomers who have never been in the industry before reflecting on their place in the pharmaceutical industry and the complexity. Maybe it's a bit more complex than they thought it was going to be. And then the next person will be reflecting on their 20, 30, 40 years in industry and considering how things have changed in that time and what their current position is in the industry and how they can drive things going forward. Both sides. It's not just the science, but it's also just understanding uh, what and why. And I think the why is the biggest thing that I gained was that you, I know why those, uh, those ethical rules are in place uh, and what they're there to protect against. Uh, and that's also, it, it furthers your thinking and allows you to do um, do things in the spirit of sort of guidelines rather than just um, because it's a rule on a page. Well, just in the caliber of conversations you can have um, with your customers after completing this, because just, just if I look at my everyday work, if I have to cover a clinical trial, you know, pharmacodynamics, pharmacokinetics, all that stuff that, that just is pulled together in the course, you can have a more in-depth conversation and you actually know what you're talking about when you are talking about it because you have covered it in such a way that it's it's made sense and it's been solidified in your own mind. So it's not just one of those courses where you, you learn it and then you write the exam and then it's gone. 
um, it really is just something that you, you now have that knowledge and you can have a, a higher quality conversation. The CEP programme is really important that it does keep pace and, and provides people with the right information and how to interact. And during COVID we saw that healthcare professionals were not receiving face-to-face -face visits from um, pharmaceutical representatives and they needed to find new ways of interacting to, and to get information. So for us it's been a very challenging time over the last few years. We've seen that a record number of students participate in the CEP programme, utilise it in new and different ways and we're delighted that they have achieved such great results. Um, and are still proud to participate in the programme and we think that this will continue to evolve. Self-regulation in the pharmaceutical industry is critical and it's important for our reputation that we provide a programme that really does highlight the ethical standards that we uphold and that the information can be delivered to healthcare professionals in a way that suits them best in our changing healthcare environment and the way that we see doctors is different and the way that they see medical professionals and um, medical representatives is different.